If you are suspected of driving under the influence of alcohol, a police officer can conduct a field sobriety test or a series of physical coordination tests to determine whether you may be drunk. He or she may ask you to walk a straight line, count backwards, or follow a pen with your eyes. In order to check for accuracy, the police officer may take you to the station and administer a breath or blood test. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, over 2,300 anti-drunk driving laws were passed between 1980 and 1996. Only 1.1% of the drivers of large trucks involved in fatal crashes in 1997 were intoxicated, compared with 18.2% for passenger cars, 20.2% for light trucks, and 27.9% for motorcycles. If you are suspected of driving under the influence of a drug or a combination of drugs and alcohol, a police officer can administer a blood or urine test. When a police officer suspects a driver under 21 of taking drugs or alcohol, that youth must submit to a preliminary alcohol screening test administered with a handheld device or any of the previously mentioned tests as deemed appropriate by the officer. If you are under 21 years of age, the law is stricter. Zero tolerance laws exist in all states, prohibiting those under 21 from drinking and driving. It is unlawful for a person under 21 to drive with a BAC of 0.01% or higher as measured by a PAS test or other chemical test. If the BAC is 0.01% or higher, or the person refuses to take or fails to complete the test, the DMV will suspend that person's driving privilege for one year on the first offense. A restricted license, only for the first offense of 0.08% or more BAC, can be issued following a 30-day suspension if a chemical test was taken and you were at least 21 years of age when the offense occurred. You may obtain a restricted license for driving to and from a state licensed DUI program. You also may obtain a five-month restricted license to operate to and from work and driving during the course of employment and to and from the activities of a licensed DUI program if you submit evidence of enrollment in a DUI program, if you file proof of insurance, SR-22, and maintain it for three years, and if you pay all applicable fees. If you enroll and fail to participate, or you do not complete the licensed DUI program, the DMV will immediately revoke your restricted license and reimpose the suspension. It will run for the remainder of your original suspension. For a first misdemeanor conviction, the following consequences may occur. And the possible impounding of your car for a month if it is registered in your name and was used during the DUI. If you are under 21, 
the DMV is obliged to revoke your license for one year or until you turn 18, whichever is longer. For a second misdemeanor conviction, the same fine and penalty apply. However, jail time is a maximum of one year, your license will be suspended for two years, and your vehicle will be impounded for three months. You may be eligible for an ignition interlock restricted license after the first year of license suspension. An ignition interlock device, or an IID, is a handheld device attached to your vehicle that measures your breath each time you start the vehicle. You must pay for the installation and upkeep costs of the device. As of July 1, 1999, courts are required to order the IID restriction on any person convicted of driving on a suspended license or revoked license based on a DUI offense. The courts may also order the IID restriction on any DUI offense. A third misdemeanor offense in seven years will land you in jail for a period of 90 days to one year, a fine up to $1,000, a three-year suspension of your driver's license, and required participation in an alcohol treatment program. You have to reapply for a driver's license, file proof of insurance, and complete a drinking driver program. The dividing line between a misdemeanor and a felony DUI is that the latter involves an injury or fatality and means the driver may be punished under California's three strikes law. Three convicted felonies and they lock you up and throw away the key. The answer to validation question number 41 is B. Psychological effects occur as a result of receiving a DUI. Loss of self-esteem, the esteem of others, reputation, and guilt are just a few of the effects you may encounter outside of the legal repercussions. If you are guilty of a felony conviction, there is the added guilt of having injured, maimed, or killed one or more people. You may encounter other financial penalties, like a sharp rise in your insurance rate, lost wages, or fees for towing and impounding your vehicle.